Kachido or whatever your name is. Hello. <laughs> you again. What the fuck do you want? I know about the prostitutes and whatever the hell you've been selling behind here everyone's back. What the hell? Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Uh, ooh. Everything you have, I'll consider making a deal. I don't want to rob him. I just want him to tell me what the hell's going on. Uh, see this? Why don't you try and take it from me? Uh, I think I'm going to keep it for a little while. Right, all right. I can't stop you, but I think we can help each other out. I know not at home in the NCR would be happy to get some dirt on the family. I can help you get that dirt. You got me by the short hairs. Okay. Sell Cheeto's journal back to him and help him take down the bosses. Aha! Uh -huh. So, I have the barter, I think. Do I have the barter? I think I have a barter thingy. Uh, uh, barter, barter, barter. Barter! Salesman Weekly. Here we go. Hey, hey! Yeah. So, some cash up front. Uh, so I just have to sell it back to him. Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. Yeah, I'm very friendly for a couple hundred caps. There you go. Uh, well, what do I do now? Uh, I just, I thought I just sold it to him. Didn't I just sell it to him? This, with hundred caps to you? I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Okay. Okay, 100 caps, and you help me break up whatever your bosses have planned. Uh, okay. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. Okay. Zora Club Key. Uh, talk to Troik about mysterious gun shipments, find out what's happened. What kind of work Clandon does for the family. What kind of specialist is Clandon? Maybe I can find out just from him. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay. Uh, a couple more questions. Okay. Let's see what else he knows. Tell me about Troik. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. <laughs> he has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The boss has got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's everything. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. And hopefully they will forgive me for uh, trying to <laughs> open up the freaking elevator when I didn't really look... Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Huh. Let's see, so we need to talk to Troik, talk to Clandon... Find out what they're up to. Uh, let's see. Where do I go? World map, local map. Aha! So he's just this way, I guess? This way? Huh? Which way? Which way? Where is he? Or more importantly, how do I get to him? Ugh. Are they even on this level, or are they higher up? I don't know. Uh, apparently they're that way. <laughs> Or is it the elevator I gotta go to? Probably the elevator. Elevator? Yeah, elevator. So, lower brimstone, sweet level. Lower brimstone, maybe? Is this the right way? No. Oh, yes, yes. I think I, uh... Yeah. Hey there. Ew. <laughs> uh, where am I going? 
Uh, that was the elevator. I get turned around. <laughs> I'm distracted by that guy. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> let's see. This way? In here? Uh, let's see now. Use key? Aha! So, where is he? Ah, uh, in here? Here we go. There he is. I think that's him. It looks like so a gunrunner kind of guy. Troik. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I'm sure you have not done anything, but it is my experience that whenever someone opens a conversation by saying, I didn't do nothing, leave me alone, it usually means that you did something. Something very bad. <laughs> what do you do here? Kachino sent me to ask you about some guns. Tell me what happened with the prostitute. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. For someone who's worried about having that information go out, he's very really open with talking about it. That is odd. I mean, the whole point of him being here and stuck and them blackmailing him for it is because of that information. <laughs> And he openly talks about it. What the hell? Uh, what kind of chems were you doing? What did the family find out about it? How do we, uh, I, I was trying to find out about the guns, not your freaking thing. Do you know where the knife came from? I switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. Uh, let's talk about something what else. What do you want to talk about? Cachino sent me to talk about Cacino. guns. Cachino what? Are you kidding me? You must be trying to get me killed. Hmm. Uh, help Katina break up whatever the bosses are planning. That Should I even be talking to this guy? I mean, they are blackmailing him. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number, and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Hmm. Oh, I am two points short. I probably have the speech. Oh, let me see. Do I have the speech? Do I have my fancy suit? Items. Apparel. Fancy suit. Barter speech. There we go. I'm sure Betty's suit will give me the confidence to, uh, speech, speech, speech. Today's physician. I can never remember the names of these stupid books. Oh, meeting people. There we go. Speech option. Here we go. You again. Make it quick. Send me his guns. There we go. Lie. If you don't help me, I'll report your work here to NCR. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's kind of mean. I mean, I wouldn't really do it. I mean, I'm obviously lying that I would do that, but still. Uh. Great. So I'm fucked either way. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. How are you talking without moving your lips? That's amazing! That's a wonderful talent. You should take that talent on the road. Get yourself a little wooden dummy. Have a talk for you while you're uh, just sitting there with no mouth movements. <laughs> what do you do here? Okay, so what can you tell me about the guns the Omertas have? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. Hmm. Never a good idea when gangsters have massive amounts of guns. Uh, how do you get the guns into the strip? A very good question. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius, if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry-pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Huh. Fairly simple. And bureaucratically <laughs> corrupt. But still, uh... Okay, I have a couple more questions about the guns. Let's see, Shall, what can we do to take care of the guns? As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Hmm. If you don't deploy the thermite yourself, I'll tell the bosses that what you've been planning. 
Uh, give me... Uh, do I really want to make him do it? Or do I want to do it myself? Yeah. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> All right, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Okay. Oh, the poor guy. The strip I'm gonna get him killed. Don't ask, cause I don't know. Oh, poor guy. I'm gonna get him killed, aren't I? I'm going to deploy the thermite. Oh, I feel bad now. He's gonna die because of this. It's gonna be my fault. And yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna come back, and he's gonna be dead. Oh, damn it! I probably sh sh wait. This isn't even red, so I can just pick it. No problem. I'm guessing this is to the thermite where the thermite should have been placed. <laughs> oh no! Let's see. Aha! So maybe I can pick up some guns while I am waiting. Uh, so, can I actually steal all the guns? <gasps> oh, look at that. All these beautiful guns. And they're all mine now. Which is nice, considering. I mean, that's it. That's that's the entire shipment of guns. Two empty footlockers that I just stole. Or is everything else in here guns as well? I don't know. Oh, well. I probably should have just taken the thermite and did it myself. But oh, well. I'm guessing he's just going to get himself killed. And then I'm going to come back and he's going to be dead. Oh, crap. Where am I? Uh, where am I supposed to be going now? I don't know. Uh, quest. Quest. Troik's going to destroy the guns for me. I should head out of the casino for a while. Find out what kind of work Clayton does for the family. Aha! Ooh. Okay. So we just need to leave the casino, come back... Hope that guy doesn't die, which is probably what's going to happen. Can I get my weapons back? Or do they automatically come when I leave? Yep, automatically comes. Cover the pulse gun, bring the pulse gun back. <laughs> that ain't happening. Uh, how long do I have to wait? Troy, you must have destroyed, come back, let him know. Should have had enough time to destroy the guns by now. Return to Kachino let him know. Okay. Here he is. Hey, what can I do for you? Troy destroyed the guns for me. Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Now the bosses want to see you. Okay. I have some questions about the boss's plan. All right, let's have them. Uh, what kind of specialist? Uh, do you know anything about what they are planning? No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay. Couple more questions. Uh, what's the next step? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Well, I still didn't figure out what the other guy was working and doing. Uh, why do they need to die? Take care of... How do we take care of the bosses? Uh... What happens when the bosses are gone? A very good question. When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. Hmm. I thought he was a low-level lieutenant. How does he go from being a low-level lieutenant to just being in charge? <laughs> Aren't there other people who would uh, object to that? Okay, let's go take care of the bosses. Hurry and get ready. I'll give you a gun when you get to the room. Okay. Go to Kachino and... Oh, Merta bosses and kill them. Kill them! Let's see. Where do I have to go now? Go to go to Kachino and the Omerta bosses to meet with them and take care of the, take them out. Okay. Well, I'm at Kachino. Uh. Okay. I'm at him. Well, I am at him. So yeah. Where do I have to go at him? Come on. Come on, hurry up! You slow, bald man! Come on. Come on. Go. Go. He walks so slowly. 
Why is he walking so slowly? I'd be more of a rush to actually do this. Holy crap. They are, uh, heavily armed. Hey, here's that gun I promised you. Uh... I'm just using it while they are talking. Let's have sure some words. Kill you after they talk. Take a seat on the couch so we can get to talking. Uh, you do realize they're standing right there. You just handed me a gun in front of them. Uh, and said you were handing me a gun. Do, do you have any idea what subtlety Please is? A it's a word exactly. you should learn, man. Uh, subtlety. I just... Yeah, what the hell, man? What the hell? I don't know. What kind of gun did he give me, anyway? But I cannot believe he just did that. He could have given me the gun before... Uh, we walked into the room with them pointing guns at us, but no. He had to do that. Can we just kill them now? Can we... Can we just shoot them now? Huh? Can we? Or do we have to talk to them? Okay, let's talk to them. Holy crap, I'm still wearing the crappy suit. So I assume you know why we called you here. Uh, no idea. Well, you've been a real thorn in our side. We've got business plans. You set us back a little bit, I'll admit that. However, we wanted you to know that nothing you did made a ship bit of difference. And you're going to die of failure. Hmm. Oh, I'm short on the speech. Well, crap. All right. Okay, well... Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. V. Shotgun blast to the face. Did they actually plan this out? I mean, seriously? Uh. Uh. Yeah, you go punch them. Okay, well. I didn't really help out all that much. <laughs> I didn't do jack all. I tell you, at home is gonna have his day. I didn't really do much all right there. But still. I was too friggin' uh oof, more key. I was too busy uh being distracted by the fact that I had no speech and no way to actually do anything. Uh brass knuckles office. Okay. Oh, there's a shot off shotgun. There we go. Let's talk to this guy now. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. I'm planning on playing some games in the casino. Okay. Of course. After all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play. Have some fun. Ah, very nice. Bye. Free chips. Free money. Ah, uh, okay. So, anything in here before I head out? Uh, is the quest done? Is it actually done? Because I think it might actually be done. Ah, uh, inform the Miss Mano Emeritus are no longer a threat. Inform Mr. House the Emeritus have been neutralized. Huh. Okay, dokie. Omerta's oh, finished, and I'm guessing we're just going to uh, go business as usual and leave their corpses hanging out here. Uh, I'm sure that won't bother business at all. I won't affect any business at all. Uh, ooh, was that a guns and bullets? Like an actual book? Book? Guns and bullets, guns and bullets. <gasps> actual book, yes! Plus three guns, very nice. Uh, let's see, anything good in here? And, uh, oh no! Oh no! I only have 93 left! Troik blackmail note! That'll come in handy! I'm sure it would have, had I, uh, not blackmailed him myself. But yeah, if you aren't Big Sal, keep your grubby fucking fingers to yourself. Disengaged. Oh crap. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, let us. Uh, Raul, you okay? Got your mouth open right there. Eh. Oh. Okay, well, let's head out. And. Uh, I guess that's everything. That's all we needed to do here. Ow. Nearly broke my feet. Broke my feet. Broke my legs, broke my feet. Jumping off the balcony. <laughs> Need to be careful with that. I do not trust the doctors in the Mojave Wasteland. Uh, I think I actually have more medical experience than any of them do. Especially that guy at the NCR base. Oh, okay, let's head out. Head back to Yes Man. See what he has to say. 
head back to Mr. House, see what he has to say, and then... Uh... <laughs> I really do need to figure out why... Uh... Why I cannot bring that stupid pulse gun back. It's going to bug me. It's going to bug me forever. Because she would not talk to him. She would not talk to him. We had the pulse gun in our inventory. Oh! Hi again! Uh, tribes should get to know. No marchers were plotting to destroy the strip, so I killed the conspirators. Wow! That is amazing! You are just a hero! I am serious! That's three down! Two to go! Okay, let's talk about something else. If you're uh, goodbye. Uh, hey, that's actually pretty nice of him. I am a hero, aren't I? A complete, utter hero for brutally killing two guys. <laughs> uh, granted, they were about to destroy the strip. And they were building up weapons. And they're just friggin' gangsters. They were just gangsters. Running an evil casino. I don't know if it's evil. It was a casino. Well, it's still a casino. And maybe Cachino. We'll run the casino. Even better. Oh. <laughs> okay, back to Mr. House. Presidential suite. Penthouse. Aha! Let's tell Mr. House what he was planning, and then we can uh, empty out our inventory and figure out what we want to do next. What do you have to report about the Omertas? Well, uh, still looking into it. Conspiring against you are dead. Yes, they are all dead. I took care of well it. Well done. They won't be causing any trouble then. Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. Uh, where do you want me to start? Any possibility for of a diplomatic solution? I mean, I don't want to destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I'm sure that would piss off Veronica, and I don't want to do that. Though, I don't really care, to be honest. She is being a bit of a pain. She doesn't even want to turn in the item she got me to go get. Uh, diplomatic... We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. Hmm. Where do you want me to start? I'd like to ask some questions. Uh... I don't want to kill off the entire Brotherhood. That's a good point. I don't want to, but uh, I'll just keep my Since options open. I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incidents, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. It's obvious that the Brotherhood has a base in Hidden Valley or thereabouts. Finding it won't be easy, but getting inside will be the real trick. Uh, not really much of a trick. <laughs> uh, okay. What did you want? Oh, Caesar, do you do know Caesar is dead, don't you? I'm surprised you haven't asked what became of Benny. Uh, I wonder if he knows By Caesar's my dead. calculations, his death will affect the shape of the battle for Hoover Dam minimally, if at all. The Legion's aggression will outlive Caesar. Indeed, they'll try to take the dam as a tribute to his memory. Well, that's unfortunate. Given a year, they'd have him deified. But by then, the Legion will be breaking down, riven by internal conflicts, a monster consuming itself. It's irrelevant. In the short term, the Legion is still monster enough that defeating it will make me look powerful indeed. What else did you want to discuss? Mm, surprised he didn't ask about Benny. Or does he just not care about Benny at all? Huh. That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the Platinum Chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? Hmm. How will the NZR defend Hoover Dam? 
I should let you know that I planted a surveillance device on one of your data terminals. What are your plans for New Vegas? What's the deal with the snow globe collection? I, 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 that is a very good in question. What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about a little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. What else did you... Uh, where does the New Vegas get all its electricity? Uh, where does it get all its electricity? I mean, none of the power plants are working, right? Uh, Hoover Dam, of course. A hydroelectric dam. The NCR had it up and running at 50% capacity within a year of occupying the dam. By treaty, New Vegas receives 5% of its output. More than enough. What else did you... Uh. Well, I probably should realize that. Goodbye. It's pretty obvious. The Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam was a power plant before NCR infamy gained. Oh no. Quest failed, don't tread on the bear. Oh I failed. I have failed. I have failed you. Part two. Quest failed for the Republic. No. No, I failed. NCR bus network of informants continue. The NCR knows that you are working against the interest and will no longer accept your help. Oh, oh no. The NCR is now mad at me for helping Mr. House. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh no. Well, looks like the NCR aren't happy with me now. Uh, I missed out on their quests. So, yeah. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, I guess I'll go empty my inventory and then try to figure out what the hell I'm going to be doing now that the NCR is mad at me. 